It's a step closer to increasing Metro Vancouver's capacity to deliver drinking water to a growing population with tunneling now complete for the Anasis water supply project. Down here, 50 meters below the Fraser River, a tunnel boring machine nicknamed Anna excavated the new 2.3 kilometer tunnel between Surrey and New Westminster. We take the opportunity of combining um, infrastructure replacement uh, and old, old pieces of work that need to be replaced, upsize them to deal with growth, and harden them to deal with seismic and do it all at once. The contractor will now begin installing a massive pipe more than two and a half meters in diameter made of inch thick steel built to withstand a major earthquake. It will be able to carry roughly 600 million liters per day. And these water tunnels are going to be in service for at least 100 years, hopefully 200 years or more. Um, and so because of that, we looked at, let's make a look at more stringent seismic requirements. Principally, we're able to deliver drinking water during and after a major event. The critical infrastructure project began work in 2022 with a budget of $450 million. You know, Metro Vancouver has had some unwarranted uh, uh, bad press, I would say, and, and commentary. And, and this is a perfect example of a budget that's coming in on time and on budget. However, the project still has a few more years to go with work expected to be finished in 2028. At that time, the tunnel will be connected to the existing drinking water system and will service nearly a million homes. In Surrey, Sarah Jones, City News.